Hey guys, this is Echo Farms, and today I'll be sharing you guys how you can reduce noise or green, if you want to call it that, in low quality images or whatever. Um, so you may be using a DSLR, but then there still may be noise because of high ISO speeds and stuff like that. Or it could be like a phone camera user who took an amazing shot with a phone camera and want to send it to your desk uh, as your desktop picture but it looks horrible because it's a phone camera and there's a lot of grain or noise so we're going to show you how you can actually remove it and for this tutorial I'm actually going to be using a picture which I took using my phone camera quite a while back so you can see a lot of grain in it so um I'll be showing you the before and after images. So this is before and this is after. You can see this one has a lot of grain, this one has none at all. We zoom in on the same area for both for uh for both the images for you guys to see. So this is the exact same area. This one has tons and tons of noise and this one doesn't have any noise at all. So I'm going to show you how you can make that happen. And what you need is Photoshop, um, Bridge, as well as Camera Raw, the plugin that comes free with Photoshop. and. Um, you may want to download the latest update just in case of anything so for your camera um, your camera image you want that to be in JPEG and if it's not uh, like if it's in PNG you can just go and um, export it uh, convert it somehow on the Mac you can easily do that in preview by going to File, export, and rename the select destination and change the format. So that's for the Mac um, PC users. There should be tutorials out there, and now you could do a quick Google search on it. So let's bring in. Alright, so let's bring in the Harbury. Um, horrible, horrible quality image all right so probably won't get this window because mine isn't the first time I'm doing so let's get this done right from the start oh, shit. all right you want to hit the mini bridge um thing over here and then you want to navigate to your downloads um, menu in the mini bridge and scroll down to your image um, alright this one's the jpeg one right click open in camera um, so you see a lot of green over here Alright, so we're going to remove it now. So you're going to go to the dirt menu over here in camera. Um, it's called detail. Then you're gonna go under noise reduction over here. Luminance, you're going to reduce it. You're going to increase it all the way to a hundred. Should be at zero at the start. Shoot, uh, the blurry picture. So this is how it was in the beginning. Right, and drag it all the way to a hundred and it gets slightly better. So this is the maximum you can go for this one. So what you wanna do is save the image and save the image in a JPEG format and then you're going to want to 
take that image and open it in camera raw again. So for me, this image is the one over here. The sunlight dot great pack. Alright, so let's search for it in our mini bridge. Right click, open in camera raw. Same thing as before, alright, should be at zero, so you still have a bit of grain from the last time. And now we're going to increase it all the way to 100, and there shouldn't be any grain left. And there still is, and like you have a lot of grain that you have to remove, just do this again, meaning like you save this as a JPEG file. And then open that JPEG file in camera raw again and then drag the luminous the luminance to a hundred and then your noise should go away after the third try I hope. But then you're gonna have to keep doing that and eventually all the noise will be gone and you can use it as your desktop wallpaper without any issues. So yeah, that's mine and I saved a copy earlier on so let me just show you um, how it looks um, how it looks with the green picture as my wallpaper as well as the non green picture as my wallpaper. So this here is the grainy picture and sweet for a while. Mm. Right. So a lot of grain over here you can see that. And after two times of editing and dragging luminance to a hundred Set this. This is the clearer one. Alright. There is no more grain, and your wallpaper is perfect. Nobody will ever believe that this was taken with a 3.2 megapixel phone camera. So I hope you, I hope you guys like this video. I hope this tutorial was useful for like phone camera users like me before I got my DSLR and thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys in my next video if you haven't checked out the rest of my photoshop tutorial videos be sure to check it out we have how to remove watermarks in Adobe Photoshop CS5 which was just posted yesterday and a Photoshop CS5 tutorial on making forum signatures all website banners and it turned out with a pretty nice signature which looks like this over here so I'll see you guys next time bye now remember kids hitting subscribe buttons are good for your health